Hey everyone, welcome back to Wix Fix. I hope you're having a fantastic day. My name is Ryan, and today's video is another episode of our Wix Studio Basics series, the series where I show you the basics of building a website in Wix Studio. For today's video, we're primarily gonna be focusing on global sections. What are they, and how do you use them? Now, if you've missed any of the other videos from this series in the past, in the description, you'll find a link to a playlist where you can watch all of the other videos. But without wasting any more time, let's go ahead and get into the tutorial. Okay, so here we are in Wix Studio, and of course we're using this template here. But to kind of explain to you what global sections are, is global sections are sections that can appear on multiple pages. So think about like this, right up here at the top we have a header, at the bottom of the page we also have a footer, and these are sections that no matter what page we go to, so for example, let's switch on over to the about page here. You can see up here, we have the same header and at the bottom we have the same footer, but the sections on the page are different because we're on different pages, right? So think of it like global sections are sections that appear globally across your website. So to access those, you can come on over to the left-hand side and you'll have this little icon here that looks like a little triangle with circles at each of the like, points and that is for our global section so you can see we have a header we have a footer and we also have a global section here so if i go back over to the home page that's our newsletter call to action at the very bottom of the page that's this section right here now one thing i want to notice is when i grab any other section on the website you're going to notice that around it is kind of highlighted in this blue right here. However, if I grab this section and I use the breadcrumbs and actually grab the section, not the container, you can see that now it's kind of highlighted in green. And that's basically signaling to us that this is a global section. This is not just a section that appears on this page. It's a section that appears on multiple pages. And in this case, this global section is appearing on this page. But if I switch on over to the about page, you're going to see it unchecks and basically telling us that it does not appear on this page. So if we wanna add it to this page, we can easily press add to page. Now, one thing I will note about global sections is typically when you add a global section to the page, for some reason it adds it to the very top. So what you can do is come over to the layers panel and you can move this to wherever you want using the layers panel. Typically for a newsletter call to action, I'm gonna stick this at the very bottom, right above the footer and Sometimes, if you switch over to different breakpoints, it doesn't always update and it kind of moves it up to the top for some reason. So, so what I like to do is on desktop, when I'm happy with the location of the section, I will grab the page, click more actions and say, use section order on all breakpoints. That means the order here is all the same on, on all breakpoints for desktop, tablet, and mobile. Now, one thing I wanna note about global sections here is if we go ahead and change it here, let's say we want to change this text to like, let's say our blue color really quickly. Um, if we switch back over to the home page and we go all the way down to the call to action here, you're gonna notice that the text updated here as well. So to kind of reiterate any changes that you make to a global section, will appear wherever else on your website that that global section appears. If you don't want that to be the case, then let's say here on desktop, we set the color back to black, but let's say on the about page, we want the text to say something different or, or maybe we just want a different image here and we don't want to update it everywhere else on our website. So one thing we can do is if we grab the section and press the three dots, what we can do is say detach from global section. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna turn this into a normal section here. So if we wanted to, we could change out the image really quickly. Something like that. And now we have kind of like a different section here on the about page that's not seen on other pages. Now, one thing I do wanna mention is if we open up global sections and we look at header and footer, we can see that there is this thing right next to it that says default, basically signaling to us that Anytime we add a new page, which I'm just gonna add a blank page temporarily, that means that the default header and footer are going to automatically appear on any new page that we create. However, for example, what if we want to create like a dark page 
that's different than other pages. And maybe we want to change the header and footer to kind of match the style of this specific page. So what I'm actually going to do is come over here to global sections. I'm going to click on the three dots and I'm going to duplicate this. And what I want to do is call this one header and maybe I'll call this one our dark header, right? And I want to add this one to the page. So now we have two headers on our page, which we don't really want, obviously. So what we're gonna do is open up our layers panel and we can see we have header dark here, which is what we want. And you can see we have our default header right here, which we don't want on this page. So what we can do is press more actions or the three dots and we can search, and we can just click remove from page. And now we are basically left with our dark header here. And with this, we can then go ahead and change the, the dark header to maybe have like a, a black background and we would then have to like go through all of our like logos and content here and kind of change out the design to kind of match the page a little bit more but as you can see now if we take a take a look over here at our headers we have our default header and we have our dark header but one thing i want to make note here is is let's say we really like our dark header and we want to maybe apply that to the rest of our pages. So what we can do is actually right click on the dark header and we can actually set this as our default. So what that basically means is anytime we maybe go to pages and we add a brand new page, well, it's gonna by default add our default header, which is now our dark version. However, if we go back over to our home page, you're gonna see it still has the original header that we had selected. So of course you're gonna come over here to global sections, you're gonna add the new default one. And then if you go ahead and go over to the layers panel, you can actually grab the other header and just remove it from page. So you can kind of switch things out like that. It's a little bit more of a manual process, but it is really nice. Another thing you can do with the global sections is you can say three dots, add to and you can actually select which pages you want it to appear to or if it's on other pages and you want to remove it you can manually remove it there as well and then press apply and that's a good way to kind of update your global sections across your entire website very very quickly you know here we are on the home page and we have three breakpoints we have desktop tablet and mobile however if we go ahead and grab our global section here if we needed to we could add another breakpoint here just for fun. And we now see that this global section now has four different breakpoints on it. But the cool thing about it is if I go and click back on the page, you can see it didn't add the breakpoints to the page. The global section itself has four, but it didn't affect the amount of breakpoints are on the page. Also, if I scroll down to the footer and I grab this global section, you can see that this one still only has three breakpoints. So when I added the breakpoint to the header, it only affected the header. So, and the only reason I bring this up is because sometimes when you are designing a website, it is really important to make your website really responsive. And sometimes, and in certain circumstances, you could find yourself really struggling to have a section be responsive and you have to add another breakpoint. It's a rare case, of course, but it is a case nonetheless. And since this is potentially gonna be a section that's gonna appear on multiple pages, if you need to add that extra breakpoint just to make sure it works well in all screen sizes, then do it because you're not gonna be affecting all of your other pages or other sections on the pages. So it is a useful tool to note that if you have a global section, you can add other breakpoints as needed to ensure that it is actually responsive and looks good. Because again, this is gonna be a section that's gonna appear potentially on multiple, if not all of your pages, right? So we wanna make sure it looks really good. And the last thing I'll kind of teach you before the video ends is let's say you have this section and you really like it and you want to add it to other pages on your website, what you can do is make sure you have the section selected, click the three dots, and you can set it as a global section. Now you will notice that right now only section is available. 
header and footer are kind of grayed out. And the reason that is, is because this section is in the middle of the page. If I were to come up to the very top, for example, and let's just for fun, we'll go ahead and remove the header from the page. And we'll just add a brand new section here. And we'll just, just for fun, we'll just say this is a logo. We'll just pretend that this is our new header. Then what we can do is right click on this section, set as a global header. Because now this section is at the very top of our website. So now we have the option to actually make it a header or a section. Now, same thing kind of goes for the footer. If I go over to the layers panel and I drag this all the way down, even below the footer, then if I click the three dots and save this, I can now set it as a section or a footer. That's really all the basics that you're really gonna need to know about global sections. So I hope this video was very useful in teaching you how global sections works and will help you build your website. One last little plug here if you're interested in buying this template or even these headers or this footer, then feel free to check out the link in the description. Thank you all again. But that's gonna wrap it up for today's video. If you all did enjoy, please consider giving this video a like and subscribing to the channel for more Wix Studio content coming out really soon. Thank you all again, and I will see you all in the next one. Oh, oh.